but we have not witnessed any of them being arrested. As you can see, several looks like people standing around watching this assault on these citizens. But for whatever reason, they are not being arrested. Their rights are not being violated. It is just more of the hypocrisy that we have seen over the past few days in Ferguson. This is Scotty Reed, Black Talk Radio News. You are watching a live stream broadcast of the assault on the citizens of Ferguson who have come out to demand justice, to demand answers for the execution of Michael Brown by one of their gang members in blue. On West Florence and Avenue, down behind buildings on the other side of the street. Darren Wilson the is the name of the, the murderer, the, the executioner of to the right. Michael Brown. These demonstrators, in defiance of a illegal curfew, are demanding justice, they are demanding answers, and a press conference earlier today, uh, which was held by the governor of Missouri, Jay Nixon, and he refused to give any answers to what is transpiring behind the scenes in the investigation of the execution of Michael Brown. Uh, instead, he tried to flip it on the citizens and blame them for what is happening to them. He has not answered any questions about the many, many, many complaints that the black citizens have against the predominantly white Ferguson Police Department. It is pretty much a cluster out there. Uh, we cannot determine who is police, who is reporters, and who are these other people that are standing around with backpacks that are not being arrested, who are not in the designated free speech zone, which has also been illegally erected to limit the coverage to limit the reporters from doing their jobs. We do not know what is going on down the street. We don't know if anybody is being pounded in the middle of the street. We don't know if anybody's being stomped by these cops. We just don't know. Again, they have restricted the access to by the reporters to get up close and personal uh, what is going on. Days ago, the Federal Aviation Administration restricted the airspace over Ferguson so that only police helicopters can fly in its airspace. This, of course, prohibits the news helicopters from getting coverage from above. Again, what you're watching is uh, a scene that is occurring on the one of the main thoroughfares in the business district of Ferguson, Missouri. We do not know what is happening in the other parts of the city. Um, as we witnessed the, just a, one night ago, um, you had protesters standing in the middle of the street, peacefully demonstrating of filing their grievances, making their grievances known, and they were attacked by the St. Louis County Police. Unprovoked, they were fired upon with rubber bullets, 
uh, they were gassed. We saw fires being started in a residential area because of the gas canisters that were launched into a residential area. But again, tonight um, it appears that the press has only been uh, allowed to stand in this bullpen, uh, as one reporter called it. I cannot stress enough that there are no soldiers, there are no enlisted soldiers, no active duty soldiers, no Marines, no Navy, no Air Force, no Army coming to the assistance of these peaceful demonstrators who are exercising the freedom and the liberty that the soldiers, the U.S. military allegedly is often other parts of the world defending. So we're still hearing canisters of smoke being deployed and uh, It is now 1.14 Central Daylight Time in Ferguson, Missouri. An hour and 15 minutes after the curfew, the illegal curfew that was implemented by Governor Jay Nixon, a Democrat, after conferring, after conferring with the proxy president of the United States, we saw the other night John Lewis, congressman, civil rights veteran, who was beaten many times by police called on the proxy president of the United States to federalize Missouri National Guard to go out and not impose martial law, but go out and ensure that these peaceful demonstrators are not attacked. Um, the proxy president apparently was not given permission by his cabinet and his advisors he was not given permission by Wall Street. He was not given permission by the bankers. He was not given permission by the corporations to deploy law enforcement or federalized troops to defend the brave demonstrators in Ferguson. We can only imagine if Armed Force Network is picking up this and streaming it. I highly doubt it. Being former military myself, to my shame. But I doubt that any reporters from the Armed Forces Network, I doubt if this is being live streamed to Europe, Germany, Wherever United States troops may be stationed, I doubt if they are witnessing what is done, being done to their people back home within the borders of the United States. This is a travesty. This is a grave injustice. What we are seeing is a scene out of history. It sounds like the rain is picking up. It has been raining all night and storming. Again, I do not know who all of these people are who are not in uniforms. I, I see a camera, uh, so I, I'm seeing reporters doing their jobs and trying to get better footage of the assault on these peaceful demonstrators, but they are not being arrested, even though they are disobeying 
the anti-liberty and anti-freedom people. Um, as you can see in the top right hand corner, again, I don't know who these people are. I assume they are reporters. They are being ushered back to the free speech zone, but they are not being arrested in the field. That person is not in handcuffs. That person is not being put into a vehicle. That person is not being executed in the streets like Michael Brown was. Uh, looks like we see a child. This is interesting. We see a child, a uh, man in a t-shirt. There was a child without a shirt with him. Um, this is a black male. Uh, we do not know the circumstances of why they are in a state of undress. Perhaps their clothes were ripped off of them by the anti-freedom, anti-liberty police. It appears that a state trooper is talking with them. Uh, that state trooper is black, we do not know if it is the man who was put in charge by Governor Jacobs. Uh, looks like he's being arrested. Looks like cuffs are being put on the black male. Again, it's hard to see, so I could be incorrect about him being in handcuffs. We apologize for the quality of the stream. Again, this is live. This is Scotty Reed of Black Talk Radio News reporting, blacktalkradionetwork.com. Rain is pretty, coming down pretty heavy, but we are still witnessing uh, people walking around who are not being arrested. The reporter said there was an explosion in the background. It does appear that they arrested the black male who had a young person with them. Or smoke or a of tear gas. And a few remaining protesters. But it's still in the area. 